I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Hershey's baby carriage, which makes a perfect baby shower favor. I already have a step-by-step -step version of this tutorial on my blog, but sometimes it's just easier to see it in video. So let me show you how to make it. To start off with, you're going to need a scoring board and you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is nine and one eighths inches by one inch. And we are going to score this on the long side and we're gonna start off at the three and eighths, three eighths inch mark, the one and three eighths inch mark, the two and three eighths inch mark, three and a half, four and a half, five and five eighths, six and five eighths, and eight and three quarters. So now we're going to fold the strip along the score lines. So I'm just taking it and folding it inward on all the score lines. Okay, and then you'll notice you've got this long segment here, the longest segment, and we're going to use, we're going to put glue on this segment that is closest to this longest segment. So I like to use Tombow multi-purpose glue. It holds really well. I used to use sticky strip, um, but I find that this holds better over the long term. And now we're going to count over four segments, one, uh, not including the the end segment. So if you skip the end segment, one, two, three, four, and we're going to bring this tab in and we're going to glue it right on that fourth segment. So um, don't include the tab end when you're, when you're counting. Start counting with this long segment. So one, two, three, four, and then you're going to glue that right along the score line um, right the score line is going to match the score line there okay and you'll want to hold the best thing to do is you know hold down your seam for a few seconds if you can um, because that way everything will all the paper fibers will kind of uh, mesh together and it will create for a strong stronger bond now we're going to go to this other tab end and we're going to put Tombow on it. And we're going to pick the midway point on, on this long piece. If you're a little nervous about just eyeballing it, um, it if you want to be precise, it's 1 and 1 16th. So you can make yourself a little mark if you wish, um, 1 and 1 16th inch down. That is just one... Um, notch usually right after the the six uh, after the one inch mark so if you want to you can make yourself a little mark if not just eyeball it the score line should be halfway down so just like this we've got it halfway the score line um, is halfway down here just hold that for a few seconds Okay, so now you have the base of the baby carriage. Set that aside for a second. And we're going to bring in our scoring tool again. I'm going to just pop off these markers so we don't get confused. And now you're going to, we're going to make the filler strips. And the first filler strip will be, you'll need a piece of cardstock that is seven inches by an inch. And we're going to go ahead and score this on all the inch marks. So 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, and 6 inch. And then set your scoring tool aside again. The easiest way I find to, to fold these fuller strips is if you uh, fold once, twice in one direction, and then you flip it over to the other side and flip and then fold once twice in the other direction flip it over and fold once twice in the other direction then when you bring the uh, strip in it kind of creates this triangle pattern 
and bring your baby carriage back in and you can stick this in the larger of the two sections. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, all right, and then you can set that aside and then bring in your scoring tool again. This time you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is five inches by one inch. And again, we're going to score this on all the inch marks. So the one inch mark, the two inch mark, three inch and four inch. Set this aside again. I'm going to do the same thing. Fold once, twice in one direction. Flip the cardstock over and fold once, twice in the other direction. So when you bring it in, it's kind of like you have two triangles. Okay? And then we're going to pop this one into the other space of the baby carriage. Okay, these fuller strips just help um, to keep um, the kisses, the Hershey's kisses in there. And now you're going to need some Hershey's kisses. So I just, um, the way I like to do it is I kind of press down a little bit on uh, the tip of the kiss and then I put the tip in first and then I rotate the bottom in. And I do the same for each of them. Always put the tip in first and rotate the bottom in. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I've got my thing. I'm going to put the tip in first and then I rotate it in. Tip in first and I rotate the bottom in. It's much easier to do it when you have it on a flat surface. Um, so just take your kiss, put the tip, and rotate. Okay, so now you have your thing filled and we can set this aside one more time. And the next thing we're gonna make is the handle. And for the handle, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is two and a half inches by an inch. And I just have a skewer here. This is a bamboo skewer. Um, and I'm just gonna use this to uh, curl my piece of cardstock. So I just start at one end and I kind of just bend it around till I've got it going. And then I just kind of twist it around the skewer. And I go down, you want about maybe an inch hanging um, that isn't um, curled because we're going to glue that flat part onto the baby carriage and then you can just let it go and it has that little little bit of a curl that looks like a handle and then bring your baby carriage back and this flat end over here I'm just going to put some Tombow on here again and you're just going to glue your strip right to there so you can see you've got the handle for a baby carriage. And if you roll that too far, you can just unroll it a little bit. Um, or if you haven't rolled far enough, get that skewer back in there and just roll it a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to make the wheels and we're gonna need the scoring board again for the wheels. And um, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is seven and a half inches by an inch and we're going to put this right along the top of my scoring board the long side and you're going to score at the half inch mark the one inch mark one and a half inch two inch two and a half inch the three inch and we're going to skip a bit and go to the four and a half inch the five inch, the five and a half inch, the six inch, the six and a half inch, and the seven and a half inch mark. And you can put the scoring board aside. And we're gonna start on one end and fold all of these pieces towards the same direction into the center, into the center. Because essentially what we're doing is we're creating the wheels for the baby carriage okay so you're going to do the same for the other side you're going to fold them in so they're coming in on the same direction because we want both wheels on the same side 
okay? So you can see right here how the wheels are gonna come together, okay? All right, and so just pick one end, it doesn't matter which one, and uh, put Tombow on that end. And we're gonna be gluing this to the long segment in the middle, and this edge is going to come up right against this edge here of the long segment. So just bring that in. And again, you want to hold this for a few seconds just so you can get a nice bond with your cardstock. Okay, and then just do the same thing for the other side. The end segment, you're going to put Tombow on, and then you're going to bring that in. And again, this edge is going to go right along the score line right here. Okay. Okay, so just make sure you've got it lined up. Make sure it's right to the score line. And I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. Okay, so there we've got the wheelbase. And then um, we're going to need two strips of cardstock. And I've cut these strips to four inches by an inch and then you're just going to take it and this is the stylus tool I use for scoring and I'm just going to use this to wrap the strip around or yeah wrap it around you can wrap it tightly if you want but then we're going to let it go and it's going to be loose and then we want it to relax a little bit okay and then you're going to Tighten it up just a little bit and put it inside your wheelbase. And do the same for the other side. Wrap it around your stylus tool. Let it relax. Because we're going to have to put a kiss in. You want it kind of resting right on the edge. And then just roll it up a little bit and put it inside the wheelbase. And then we're going to need some more kisses. And this one, you just, I just kind of tuck the kiss in. Now, sometimes when I do this, it just depends on um, the kiss, and sometimes just like hair, a hair difference in the cardstock. Sometimes um, I find uh, a kiss will have trouble getting into a particular spot. This one went in really easily. Let me see if, if this one does the same. Yeah, this one's coming in really easily. So if it comes in crooked, you just need to straighten it out a little bit. Just grab the end of the kiss and straighten it. If you find that they're too tight, um, just take the filler strip back out and cut a little bit off of your filler strip. That will create like a little bit less tension um, on your, your uh, kiss when it's going in and you'll be able to get it in better. But both of those went in just fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue these two together. So just grab your Tombow and put it right at the bottom of the baby carriage. You want to put it on the bottom of the, the main piece, not this piece, because this piece is a little longer than this one. So then you're just going to center it on the wheelbase. Get it centered. And then you're just going to hold that down just for a few seconds because you want a good bond between the wheelbase. Make sure it's lined up too. Just eyeball it, have a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you can decorate it up a little bit. And we have this, um, great set called something for baby and you know the other day um, I made I did a video tutorial on how to make these um, note cards and if you wanted to use these for shower invitations um, this this set would make a great um, uh, matching set to the Hershey's baby carriage so um, you can use this set for the um, uh, baby invitations and then this little flower here makes just the cutest little uh, cover for the wheel so that's what I'm going to use to um, to stamp a couple of flowers 
So I've got a piece of Whisper White right here, and I've got my Marina Mist ink pad, and I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap on here and stamp a flower. I'm gonna leave myself enough room so that I can get my punch in there and punch around it. So I need two for the wheelbase, and then what I'm going to do, um, this petite pear stamp set has this cute little greeting that says welcome baby in it. So I'm going to use that, and I'm also gonna stamp welcome baby in Marina Mist, and also on my little Whisper White strip here. And then um, we'll need the 7 8 inch punch. Oh, this is the 7 8 inch circle punch. Let me put this aside before I drop something in it. So you're just going to take that, center your flower, punch it, center your flower again, punch it, and then just center your greeting like that and punch that. So now we're going to take, these are little dimensionals, they're foam dots and we're going to put one on the back of the flower, peel off the backing, and then we can put that right onto the back of that Hershey's Kiss. Isn't that cute? So we'll need one more. We'll stick it down there like that. And just pop that on there like that. If you need to, you might need to poke out your kiss just a little bit. There you go. And then you can take this cute little greeting, welcome baby, take a little bit of Tombow. You can use the dimensional if you want to, but I'm just gonna use uh, some Tombow. And I'm going to put that right here on the top of the baby carriage because when you have these sitting out, when people come up, it will be nice to see something else, like a little greeting. And there you go, isn't that cute? Um, and then, like I said before, you can make these baby um, carriage uh, invitations. And then you can have your little uh, shower um, favors out, like the little baby carriages. Let's see, I'll put that one there, this one there. Arrange it like that. Isn't that cute? And if you like my uh, uh, Hershey's tutorials, I have many, many more on my blog, so please be sure and check it out. If you need any of the supplies for these baby carriages, those will also be listed on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.